the milkiness comes from squeezing all of the, the, the highlights and the shadows together and then spreading apart the midtones. And then, of course, there's a little bit of extra work here inside the tone curve. You see that? That tone curve is negating all black. You can't get black out of that. Black's gone. And then if you go to the reds, see how the reds are a little bit curved? The greens are curved and the blues are curved. So there's a lot of funky little work inside of there, which all, it's all part of presetting it. I mean, you can take this right here, this tone curve, and watch this. I'm gonna, this tone curve right here, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a preset and I'm gonna call this number five um, and we're gonna call it a, uh, in, in honor of you, milky, um, milky warm film, something like that, that'll work, milky warm film. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to check none, and then the things that are critical to the way this looks are, number one, I've got some grain in there. Uh, the second thing is that I've got the um, tone curve in there. The clarity is important to it. Um, now, I, I don't, as a matter of course, put any tone or exposure curves in it, because those are... The, anything to do with basic tones, exposures, contrasts, highlights is unique to each image. So I'm not going to add this. So if you use this, because it's going to be on the course page, if you use this, it is not going to give you exactly this because you have to go in and play with your highlights and your shadows to find the right spot. But it's going to give you all the underlying parts of it and then you just have to go in and tweak your final exposure to be exactly what you want it to be. Okay? Right, because you, you, we're not going to allow for this to go in because it could ruin your shot too. Um, so I'm, I'm leaving this stuff out here. So grain, the process version is going to come up, tone curve, clarity, um, and let's see if there's anything else that I did that's important. Um, hold on, before I create this, let me... Yeah, that's about it. I brought the saturation down. I think that's important to it too. Um, so let's go in here. Uh, 05 milky warm film and so we have split tone grain and saturation went down a little bit just to kind of keep it from getting too because uh, orange is dangerous when it gets you know when you go too saturated on orange it looks ugly so you got to kind of pull it back and so we're going to create that preset and so now you'll if you use that, it'll get you in the ballpark, it'll get you close. So if I take this image here, and I just bring up the exposure so you can see the shot, that's what it would look like, just with no changes whatsoever. And then if I come over and add that preset, which, where is it? Uh, where's all my creative live ones? There they are. Milky Worm Film. See how that gets you right in the ballpark. But then if you come in and grab the highlights, and pull them down, and the, sh and the whites and pull them down, and then you take the shadow up a little bit, and, and then you know, you're gonna get more in the ballpark. 